Yo, I messed out a lot. <laughs> Please, allow me to show you something. Hey, welcome back to the Shady Well. I'm Keisha, and today I'll be sharing Italian culture shocks part two. While editing the video, I realized that I actually missed out a lot of things, and I feel maybe there might even be a part three because. I just jot down the things that I remember. This might be a short video, but there there are a few things that I forgot. If you didn't see part one, Italian culture shock, it's linked above somewhere here, maybe also linked below. But let's get into part two. And then you can look at part one after if you didn't already. If you didn't see, hi, I'm Keisha, a Trinbagonian living in Milan, Italy for the last year. And these are some things that I noticed that were a bit different and in some cases were, was or sometimes still is a bit of a culture shock this was like the nightlife and eating out like okay so yes this is a city but what i've noticed is that it's like a pizza avenue on every street the we are always shocked to see the amount of bars cafes sorry I'm here just remembering more things. While this is a city, I'm always shocked to see that basically every street is almost like Arapita Avenue. So there are always bars, cafes, restaurants, basically on every street. And at lunch, like for lunch, these cafes, these restaurants are filled with workers. It seems like all the workers are no longer in their office buildings and all of them are on the streets either having a cafe having a smoke having lunch and they have their lunch they're not rushing they're taking their time to eat they eat they're having their full three quarters sometimes even with wine and it's always a shock to me it's like when does work occur and sometimes even when i leave home all hours of the day i'm just like i'm seeing people in work clothes but they're not in their office and I'm always shocked. And then at night, Italians tend to eat late. So at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, or 8 p.m., 9 p.m., they're out having their dinner. Young persons, older persons. And sometimes I just find it so nice to see like some older persons, they will come out alone and they would have their meal. And after every meal, as I told y'all, they have their cafe and they have their dolce. They have their desserts after their meals and i just found it to be so cute and that goes into another type of culture shock because from tv you would assume that italians cook a lot and i don't know if it's because of the city life but italians eat out a lot every night you go out you are guaranteed to see these restaurants littered scattered with people and every day there is happy hour at most bars or cafes like another shock is that okay maybe not a shock but something you start to gradually notice and not necessarily a bad thing but italians eat fresh i cannot go into any grocery store and see frozen meats the most thing that i would see frozen is frozen fish because of course this is milan is landlocked it's not surrounded by the sea other than that no frozen chicken no frozen turkey no frozen beef everything is always fresh and on the topic of, of fresh if you go to the grocery at six o'clock seven o'clock it's always 6 p.m or 7 p.m it's always filled because persons are coming home from work and they're going to pick up what they're going to make for dinner that night so you'll see them going to the cashier with their pasta with their pesto with their pomodoro sauce tomato sauce um cheeses or breads and it's so interesting um also i kind of like to see sometimes i see the grannies the nonas coming to the grocery to buy their bottle of wine to buy two bottles of beer and i just i don't know i just think it's the cutest thing next shock or what's a bit different italians have a small breakfast and i think i spoke about it in some of my vlogs i showed you all an italian breakfast it's basically a cappuccino a cafe espresso and a croissant or some sort of sweet <laughs> so i don't know if i saw this joke before but some one of my friends they were attending like a conference and they had a buffet breakfast and i've seen it for myself because i've gone to a hotel where they had buff a buffet breakfast and when i say a buffet spread they had the pancakes the waffles the toast the eggs the sausage some sweets the cereals like everything 
and I've seen the Italians they would come they would pick up a croissant and they would get a coffee the eggs they are not touching anything they are going for their croissants their brioche and their espresso their cappuccino their... and that is it they're not touching anything else on your buffet and that was a shock to me <laughs> too because for us like if I have a buffet breakfast, I am having a buffet breakfast, continental. <laughs> so that was a bit of a shock. So Italians, they tend to have a small breakfast and either a large lunch or a large dinner or a large lunch and a large dinner. Another shock, which I sometimes have to get used to, I am not a morning person. And so by the time I go outside, the shops are closed. By the time if I want to eat out, the shops are closed. <laughs> Places, some shops, some more traditional shops, also uh, restaurants. After the lunch hour rush, they close until 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m. So they will close at either, um, some may close at 1, but some close at like 3. So they close from 3 to 6 or 3 to 7, or they may close from 2 to 6 or 2 to 5. But there's a period in the afternoon where shops are closed and if you want something you're not gonna get it you have to wait until after three so some restaurants they may close after lunch and then some shops they're gonna close like from one o'clock to three o'clock and it's like uh, uh. but it's Milan so it's good sometimes I was speaking to someone an American who lives in Sicily and she says it's the worst because at least in Milan, some places are still open. Out there, they are traditional and they are closing their shops. Everybody. <laughs> so that is a bit of a shock if you want to get things done. Another shock which wasn't 100% a shock just because of Massey stores made me kind of get accustomed to it. But it's paying for bags. From a person hating load. I have become the person who carries their canvas bag. I always thought I was so whack, like uh, a canvas bag, a cloth bag, for what? Now I know for what. Because every time you go shopping, if you go like even if it's buying clothes, if it's buying groceries, whatever it is, you pay for the bags and minimum plastic bags may be like 10 cents. And if it's like the paper bag or the more durable bags, it may be one euro, etc. Every time you go shopping, every time you buy something, it starts to add up. <laughs> so you always see people, they go to the shop, they're going to pull out their own bag. Be like, they will ask you, sacchetto, sacchetto means bag. I'll be like, no, grazie. <laughs> because I'm carrying my bag. There are a few occasions where I forget, but you have to pay for your bags everywhere. Everywhere. And the last shop for this list. Is children out late and children at bars the definition of bar is a bit different here I think because there are bars where you can go to get a cafe so it's kind of like a bar slash a cafe but there are legit bars you would see parents out with their friends drinking their beer drinking their beer and the children are there and it's always a shock to me like children out so late what that is different and it's not tgi fridays this is frankie's this is like on the avenue the children be it in their strollers <laughs> or six seven eight they are there on the table um but sometimes it might be dinner sometimes it might, it might be lime with friends but it's always a shock to me. The next thing is gelato. I don't, well, I'm not a parent, so I can't say, but I feel like I see children eating gelato 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the night. And I'm like, so late? The sour? Wow. <laughs> and it seems, it seems like a usual thing. It doesn't seem like a one-off thing that they're really excited for. It just seems like it's just a usual thing that we are accustomed to. But yes. <laughs> so this was basically part two kind of quick and short just because when editing i realized that i missed out a lot of things so i just decided i want to share it with you guys so i hope that you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoyed the first one if you didn't again you can check it out here here down below um don't forget to like if you did enjoy it if you do enjoy content from me don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one